to lead by three. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. So on the floor for Denver, they've got Jackson. And it's Brown into the shooting guard. Jokic with the bucket. And Jokic is a very efficient mid-range shooter. We'll take advantage of you there. The Lakers in the lead. Over in the corner, Reddish. Denver grabs the miss. Holiday looking for an opening. And it's Jokic in the corner. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Lakers shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Hachimura kicks to LeBron. Off target from outside. Denver shooting well. They're at 45%. Here's Brown. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their star. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And it's tied up with that one. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Yeah, look, he'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. Outside Jackson. A three-pointer is right on target. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open. Russell is checked in for the Lakers. And a switcher also for Denver. Caldwell Pope's checked in. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. Listen in on what Garvin Ham was talking about with his players. Now, they told the team, we're winning this game with our defense. All we need is a couple of stops. Keep your focus. We'll see if they can close it out. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And it's sent back by Russell. Here's the three. Second shot opportunity. James misses. Denver in the lead. Inside. Here's Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Well, KCP's improved scoring. Defenders are taking note of him and leaving his teammates wide open. LeBron passes to Hayes. The pass to Hachimura. And right on target. Good. Well, that's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter and bang, just kicks it out. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Jamal Murray. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Jokic. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 to 15 on the game. Oh, yeah, the Joker's running wild. Lakers trail by three. Here's Russell. The shot from the low post is good. Well, D'Angelo Russell not scared of the big moment. For Denver, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And they double up Murray. To the inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Nuggets? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. I mean, they're really looking to just make that extra pass. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Davis is checked in for Jackson Hayes. Andrew Will comes in for Hatchimura. 
And it's Austin Reeves in for Gabe Vincent. Caldwell Pope with the screen on Russ Murray with the bounce pass. Jokic against Davis. Jokic with the bucket. He's simply staying aggressive right now, and Jokic is ready to shoot at the biggest moment. LeBron outside. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Quick thinking pays off big. What a block. The Nuggets leading by three. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. There's 117 left in the game. And Will Pope up top. Five on the clock. Here's Gordon. What a jam! Wow. Fans loving that right there. What a jam! Nice. Oh, man. Look at Aaron Gordon proving he can step up and be the man. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Crops in the layup for two. Well, the teammates are fired up, and so is D'Lo. Denver shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Floats it up for Jokic. It's tipped. It's stolen by Davis. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. And stolen by Murray. And they're pushing it up. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Guys, it's come down here to a very important possession. No room for error. Vanderbilt finds Russell. And they're unable to get the time basket there. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his first personal foul. He is the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. At the line, Jokic, very productive. Fouling him might not have been the right move here. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and James throws it down. And this is who LeBron James is, an incredible leader. When the game is tight, this guy willing to step up. And now they foul and stop the clock. Had to foul on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Right on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Known as a three and D guy, the leadership Caldwell Pope provides is so important for the squad. Remember that one, you guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Back to the second so the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And a tough break as a second attempt at the line. No good. A three and nothing but a three will do here. Now this is all from a perimeter and outside the arc here. And, and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Got it! Time out call for the Lakers. out on top here. This win, such a That's tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment Folks and crazy like finish to, to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Aaron, big night offensively. What is clicking for everyone right now? 
We're just moving the ball. We're moving the ball. And that's a, a big part of our offense, making sure the ball doesn't stick and then people making shots. It was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic.